the list of the most distracting things for programming that can be affected. The software architecture design must conform to the major functionality and performance requirements of the system as well as satisfy the non functional requirements such as reliability, scalability, portability, and availability. A software architecture must describe its groups of components, their connections, interactions among them, and the deployment configuration of all components. So, uh, software architecture can be defined in many ways with the help of unified modeling language, which is one of object oriented solutions used in software modeling and design, architecture view model, represent the functional and non functional requirement of software applications. Architecture description language is formal specification language which describes the software features such as classes, types, data, subprograms, as well as hardware components such as processor, devices, buses, and memory. So, here we discuss about UML diagram. Uh, UML stands for Unified Modeling Language, it is rhetorical language used to make software. Blueprints human was created by object management or MG. It serves as a standard of software requirement analysis and design document, which are the basis for the developing image. So in UML, we are using use case diagram, class diagram, object diagram, sequence diagram, collaborations diagram, activity diagrams, component diagram, and deployment. And with the help of these, we can pick the uh, we can draw our project pictorical representation. Architecture view model. Uh, basically, our model is complete, basic, and simplified description of software architecture, which is composed of multiple views from a particular perspective or viewpoint. Basically, it is used to describe the system from the viewpoint of a different stakeholder, such as end user, developer, project manager, and tester. So it is also known as four plus one view model. It having multiple views model that addresses the different features and concern of the system. It standardizes the software design documents and makes the design easy to understand by all the stakeholders. Uh, the four essential views are like that: uh, the logical view, conceptual view, the development view, and the process view, and the physical view. So this is all about the four plus one view model. The use case view is a special signification that it depends the high level requirements of a software while other views details. The view model can be extended by adding one or more views for scenario or use case. So this is the diagram, logical view, interacting with development view. It is interacting with physical view and the uh, logical view also interacting with process view. So these are the scenario which is putting it all together. Thank you. Uh